And sir, minister, or former minister rather of defence and safety and leader of LCD, Mr. Tsitiso Mukosi, has been granted bail. Mukosi's bail application was initially set for the 14th of September 2017, but he apparently applied for an urgent bail hearing late yesterday. The government's tone earlier vehemently opposed bail due to the nature of the charge he is facing, but it is not clear why the bail hearing was moved earlier. So to officials have not been available for comment. Well, for further details, we're joined on the line by our correspondent in Lesotho, Rapelang Hadebe. A very good afternoon to you, Rapelang. Uh, do you have any details or know-how as to why Makosi's bail hearing uh, was moved up in terms of the date? Thank you very much. Yes, it, it, it looks like it's it's politics at play because, um, like you rightly said, the bailing was only expected to be heard on the 14th of September, but an urgent application was moved. Now, you, you would expect that in a case such as this one where somebody is accused of murder, um, an issue of bail would be a slightly complex, not as easy. But somehow it was granted. Um, but he was not actually released from, from jail because... Uh, one officer who was actually supposed to release him was not available at time. So that means he was he's to spend uh, he's to spend the weekend behind bars yet once again. So maybe on Monday, it's either it will give the um, the others concerned a, cha a chance to go and challenge it, or he will be released on Monday. But as far as the situation is. His bail was granted. It says it was not opposed. Now, you would understand that it could be politi politics at hand. The former regime had installed its own technocrats. The current one could be battling also to, to, to implement their, their, their own policies. So that could be politics at hand. That is why he was not able to immediately be released. Now, Rapelang, what details do we have about the alleged murder which has now emerged as uh, the uh, cause of the arrest? And has the government of Lesotho uh, uh, had any comment on the recent events? The government actually had a very heavy-handed tone because they said if somebody is facing such a serious allegation as of murder, it, it is only fair that they stand trial and be acquitted. Um, if they are not guilty, but if they, if they are guilty, they should face the full might of the law. And, and they said it, it, it cannot, it cannot that be plain politics. If somebody is, at, is charged with such a serious crime, only the law should take its course. And the government had said it will vehemently oppose bail. So why a certain turn of events that the government granted bail and did not oppose you could understand that now it could be that the, the officers uh, at play right now who could be a power play now, that the previous regime has its own and maybe could be playing underhand games. But until we know the full details as to what the bail conditions will be or was, perhaps we would understand a little better what the situation was. But we know the tone of the government was very clear that they will oppose me because they're saying the charge at hand is, is a very serious one. And have the police released any sort of details around that alleged murder? And also, what happens next once he is out, of, uh, out on bail? Uh, do we know any details uh, with regards to when he'll be appearing in court? I, I think the, the issue of an urgent bail application came as a bit of a surprise to them. So... On Monday, we will only know the details as to what the bail conditions are. Remember, the police were also battling that it might be a flight risk. As, as you might have known that the former uh, Deputy Prime Minister, Mutesha Metsing, fled to South Africa, fearing that he might be arrested too. So it, it could be another issue as to what the bail conditions will be. And, and we will only know because... The bail application with him and the four co-accused was only going to be on the 14th. So maybe it could be that the, 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 the case will now be moved to the 14th, such that more details can be availed as to 
when the case, the actual trial will begin. All right, and finally, Rappelang, what has been the reaction coming through from uh, people in and around Lesotho? It, it has been a very emotional case. Remember, if you look at the circumstances of which the, the alleged Mukalekale Khetin was killed, it was quite a brutal, and, and people citing the details of what actually went on. The, this is a policeman who went missing in around late December, and... For, for quite some for months, nobody would actually know what happened to him. He was only later found after four policemen were arrested, and his body was exhumed to be found that it was buried in a mass grave, the government mass grave. So he was exhumed, and a very emotional burial, reburial ceremony took place at his hometown in Mokoto. So it was quite an emotional, it was an emotional and moving funeral. So the reactions were mixed emotions around town as to circumstances surrounding his death and as to whether how exactly Mr. Mohosi is being implement, implicated in this particular crime. All right, and that is uh, our correspondent on the line, Rapelang Hatebe, talking to us uh, about the former Minister of Defence and Safety Leader of the LCD, Mr. Tediso Mukosi, who has been granted bail in relation to uh, the charges that have now emerged as murder charges in Lesotho.